A good old chat with my guest here. We've got so much to talk about. It's lovely to have him in the studio. Very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you. It's Josh from The Journalist. Nice to see you now. We've got loads to, to say about show business. Let's start off with, with the, uh, what's happening with Lee Ryan of yes. Blue. And I mean, I must say, I love Blue and everyone does, don't I they? know, I know. And it's really quite shocking. So he's been found guilty of racially abusing a black flight attendant. So... He's been found guilty of racially aggravated common assault by beating, which Gosh. carries a maximum sentence of seven years. Wow. So he faces hard time. He previously pled guilty to being drunk on an aircraft and vowed to get help for his drinking. This was after he reportedly downed half a bottle of port Gosh. along with cheese during the BA lounge. Oh. And there was an incident on the aeroplane leaving the flight attendant in tears. So really quite serious stuff. Oh, gosh. And also, I mean, we do have a list of all the things he called her, which we're definitely not going to repeat we on the show. We wouldn't dream of repeating on it, any of it. But, but I mean, he tried to argue that the racial slurs that he held in her direction were not racist. And obviously the court found otherwise. Yeah, the court did found, find otherwise. And he does face um, a seven-year sentence. But what I find really quite astonishing is almost the, I don't want to say huge amounts of judgment, but the kind of entitled celebrity behaviour because one thing that we can say that he said he said well don't you know who I am and it's that kind of old age celebrity trope being like right so you're drunk and you're now going fully on name recognition yes. here I, th I think something's got to give doesn't it? I've always it? thought being reasonably notorious myself that if you have to ask someone if they don't know who you are, they don't know who you are and don't ask them because exactly. otherwise they do know and they know who you but, are. But the point is, it, it's a case of, this is another case of kind of celebrity entitlement and kind of, you know, you're, you're the, celebrities are the same as everyone else. It's not the royal family we're not we're talking about here, you know. And even, the, and even the royal family are the same as everyone else. Well, yes. As you will know if you've read Prince Harry's book well, or even a, even a tiny paragraph. Apparently it. so, but, yes. it's, it, but it's just a case of, you know, celebrities are normal human beings just working in very different ways in music in theatre and arts and film and drama whatever mm -hmm. they're just earning a living they just happen to do so on a public stage but mm -hmm. that does not give them the right to behave badly i hope lee ryan gets the help he needs um but he's also got to face justice and he's got to face the consequences of this uh horrendous assault that he's done gosh i mean you know everybody who loved the music and loved the boys and thought that they were a really great sort of and adornment to this band. nation and they did eurovision do you remember it's, that yes of, of course That's i do and it's shame. and it's a shame for the band and what he's done because he's almost tarnished the name and the careers of mm. the other band members because they're always when if the band do something the, the Lee Ryan accusations the Lee Ryan trial the Lee Ryan verdict that's always going to be brought up alongside Blue's name for any sort of future projects here. Okay so that's the first of our showbiz mm. news but does it get more ch more cheerful as it we does. go along? I do hope so. Where else are we going? Should we talk this? Love Island? Let's talk Love Let's Island. Talk Love so Island. is it Monday it starts? Yes Monday the uh, uh, 19th of January yes. I believe so it's returning to ITV2 and for the first time ITVX now. Just what is ITVX? It's like, a, imagine it's another streaming service set Netflix, you have to Amazon pay for Prime. It. Uh, no, not currently. There are yeah. some premium content that you might have to pay behind a paywall, but Love Island will be put it, will be put on there for free. Okay. Um, there's going to be a huge shake up this year. So for the first time ever, bosses have announced that the public gets to decide which or who oh, the yes, first bombshell this, will be I? going into the villa. Right, right. So it's between... Um two bombshells, one boy, one girl. Um, so they can either vote for semi-pro footballer Tom Clare, who's mm. aged 23, mm. or a law firm administrator, Ellie Spence, who is uh, 25, I believe. So viewers can uh, vote for which is going to be the first bombshell nice. uh, to enter the but villa. But I'll just but say one thing about this. This is a South African one, isn't it? Yes. So this is the winter love winter island. Winter love island. They've got to do something to turn up the temperature because of the last winter one they had, it was cold. It felt and flat. And you kept seeing the girls shivering in the boys' jackets the whole bikini situation was just a, a farce because it was always too cold. It was mm. the wrong time of year. Well, this is the thing. You need, you need to do something need, with the heating outdoor heaters or something. You need a bit of extra heat on the by the fire pit, don't you? And let's just fit in the Brit nominations. Yeah, so they've been just they've just been announced. Four thirty. Um, so we've got first ever nominations for the K-pop girl group Blackpink. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got Mimi Webb, uh, Sam Ryder, Eurovision's Sam Ryder. He's your first, favorite. he's everyone's oh, favorite. He, but he's one. He's such a lovely guy, Everyone and two, him, he yeah. can't help 
the fact that there was a war in Ukraine. No. The song on any other year would have done impeccably on Eurovision. Yeah, yeah. Harry Styles leads, leads the nominations with four nominations. There's also nominations for the likes of Becky Hill, Charlie XCX, David Guetta, Dua Lipa, Elton John, Lewis Capaldi as well, and plus uh, Stormzy, Beyonce, Ed Sheeran. Half of the names, I'm Do sure. Do we know who's going to host it? Uh, Mo Gilligan. Oh, Mo Gilligan. Oh, well, come Mo on. Mo Gilligan. Then. Well, that's a slam dunk. But very interestingly, yeah. the gender neutral categories are going to be continued. Oh, fascinating. Well, I, I, it is fascinating, but I just think it's such a shame because I, I do think the music industry, the voting panels, they do kind of skew Josh, towards I'm males gonna have to traditionally. Stop you in mid flow. Lovely to have you in the studio. Thank you very much to Josh Rom and to you for watching. I hope you have a fabulous evening.